Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Welcome back to the channel. Out here at the farm, and I'm getting ready to load up Big Green with the King Cutter 2 tiller to take over my brother's land and help till up a garden. Should be fun because I believe the tiller is uh, behind the dozer and maybe the backhoe, so probably have to get those pieces of equipment out of the way to go grab it from Chris's barn, but nonetheless, something to get me out of the house. How about the old pond? It's filling up. There were a couple ducks on there just a second ago. Gonna be getting out the old PJ trailer and loading big green up. Tell you, if you guys are looking for a utility trailer, PJ trailers are really nice. I've had this one for a couple years now. Chris actually said he thinks we can get this out of here without having to move the dozer, which would be a win. I mean, I want to move the dozer just because I want to see black smoke, but oh yeah, there she be. There's the dozer. He moved his trailer, so that's helpful. Got all those goodies, including that. That's gonna be a pond grill there. Yeah, we got that moved out of there, no problem. Hydraulics are amazing. Also, uh, Chris said later this afternoon he's probably gonna uh, go out and roll his yard since it's nice and soft. I imagine that setup should get it done, don't you guys? I know, right? <laughs> Tell you what, if we keep this rate of uh, use up on this thing, before long there's gonna be at least an hour on it. <laughs> that tiller? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you play with it for like 10 minutes after the first guy. Right. I use it for like 12 minutes out there in the garden. So, yeah, I mean, we're, it's borderline not doing some service, actually. I, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking the same. I'll be sure and burn the clutch in again for us. Make it smell real nice. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Back up. That's right. Right. Okay. He's this how you guys keep yours too? Big old wad. Got big green in tow. You can see there behind me through the window. I'll tell you guys, if any of you out there have ever moved your tractors around and whatnot, the loading process and hooking everything up takes way more time than it ever should. You know, swapping out implements, loading on the trailer, and put your tie downs on it. But we got her. Here we go. So we uh, just walked up here. He's got an area staked off. Now uh, now that we're here though, we wanna just till the whole field because, you know, why go a whole lot of trouble of moving the tractor if you're not gonna till everything up? But he started doing it by hand and then said, nah. So we were just talking, this area here is a little bit low. I think what we're gonna do is till it under and then maybe find out a spot on the property somewhere and just till up some topsoil and start mounding it up so he's got a raised bed a little bit so it's not fully saturated in water. As I mentioned, we're going to use the 
King Cutter 2 tiller. Like I said, Chris and I have used this for a solid, I don't know, 35 minutes or so, but it was a Craigslist deal a while back. And, uh, you know, when Craigslist is running those deals, you can't pass them up. But King Cutter 2, uh, gear driven tiller, six foot. It'll do some work. Let's get after it. Yeah, so definitely wet. Um, you can see it clumping quite a bit. But again, this isn't really for, you know, planting vegetables right now. Just kind of doing a little prep work and gonna try to raise the elevation a little bit today. I think you guys probably understood what we were going for, but let me at least show you. So, just kind of mounting it up, as we said we would. So I tilled, I don't know, 40 feet over here or so, 30 feet, a couple of these things wide. Yeah, the uh, King Cutter 2 tiller though, middle of the road tiller. Like I said, not extremely heavy duty, but it'll do work. I mean, the problem too today is just how wet it is. And I knew that going in, we weren't gonna be able to till it up to a nice fine powder for a garden, but it's working. All right, time to hear Big Green eat. We're on at 540 wide open. in my mess I wish there was a way to bring multiple implements at once and there is it's called getting a bigger trailer but oh well a lot of dirt here
so there you go nothing crazy uh, like I said not garden ready really just trying to build up the area for said garden but a little wet clumpy but I think we got the job done for now anyway using the old king cutter too I say we better be careful before long we're gonna have at least an hour hour and a half on that machine and honestly on the implement anyway there's probably only what less than probably 25 or 30 PTO hours on the 4052R we'll walk over here and show you the mess I made like I said we were just stealing topsoil there's gonna be a house out here at some point so this is all gonna get destroyed when they do construction anyway so might as well take some out of here you can see how nasty wet it is well I got the tractor loaded back up and headed back to the farm I always like towing this thing around it makes you feel like a trucker at least on a small scale but yeah the king cutter 2 tiller um, nice little implement to have around the farm when you need it Chris and I have not used it very much um, but definitely comes in handy We'll have to go back down there to my brother's at some point and retill that whenever it's dried up a little bit. But we really just wanted to move some topsoil today for him to at least get things in order. So, so yeah, in uh, typical Indy Farm Life fashion, that really wasn't a review of the King Cutter 2. As much as just showing you guys it in action a little bit and kind of taking me along for my day. On occasion, we'll do full-scale reviews of products, and if there's anything you see on our farm that you'd like us to fully review, let us know. Happy to do so. Um, generally, though, if we have something on the farm, that's our endorsement that we like. We usually don't try to buy things without doing a fair amount of research. At some point, we will shoot a video about these PJ trailers that Chris and I have. They, uh... They're nice. These I mentioned earlier, but these kickstands, if you will, at the back here make unloading and loading a whole lot less stressful. As always guys we appreciate you swinging by our channel and checking out this video if you would hit that subscribe button come back and see us like i said before we've got all kinds of things going on out here at the farm and away from the farm even and we're doing our best to document everything we do and take you guys along for the ride we love hearing from you guys so if you would comment below and tell us what else you'd like to see as we ramp up this spring hope to see you guys next week take care